Olivia is one of my favorite guests because, A, her lighting is perfect. B, she's always happy. And she sends me notes before an interview about what she's working on, which makes it actually fabulous for the host. Olivia, I am fascinated by this source close to the House Oversight Investigation who is chatting with you. Explain to the audience what you picked up about Hunter Biden. Yes, Hugh. So essentially, well, the Hunter Biden news that broke yesterday, my colleague reported that essentially it's their charges against him are intended to be a cons- comprehensive resolution to his potential legal liability in all matters investigated by federal authorities, which means they're they're done looking at um, his business with foreign entities. But that is definitely not true with House Republicans who say, you know, we think that there's still something here. We're going to keep pushing forward. Um, James Comer went into the House GIF. It's a secure location and basically reviewed a doc that the FBI was providing. And he emerged quite unhappy, basically saying there were too many redactions. Some of the 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 information that he wanted to see, some underlying documents weren't there. And so I'm told that he basically had a phone call with with Jim Jordan and they were trying to discuss ways forward. They're still debating whether to hold FBI Director Chris Ray in contempt um, unless he can sort of appease them with these document requests. Um, but they are also um, looking to bring in Weiss, who, if you remember, is that Trump attorney who was looking into Hunter Biden. And I guess that they want to be drilling into him about why he did decide to not look more into the foreign uh, business dealings. And there's also something else. Um, they are looking to bring in Devin Archer. And I think we're going to be seeing him within the next seven to 10 days, this source tells me. And Archer was a close business associate of Hunter Biden. So they're going to probably be drilling into him about uh, any, um, you know, relation that Hunter Biden might have with Burisma and the money that he got there. Yeah. Now, Olivia, yesterday, U.S. Attorney Weiss said the investigation is ongoing. That was a printed statement. Kyle Cheney, your colleague, has reported this was intended to be a four corners deal to wrap up all of Hunter Biden's liability. It is possible that both those things are true in that Hunter Biden's plea is contingent upon cooperation in matters concerning people like Devin Archer. Have you heard if House oversight has been warned off from these hearings by the DOJ as improvidently held because they'll interfere with the prosecution or are they full speed ahead in the House? They're full speed ahead as far as I know, but they might still get that warning. I know that James Comer now is going to be um, pushing the FBI and DOJ to be clear what documents relate to ongoing investigations, because that was sort of what they kept running into. They wanted a document and they would get the pushback from the government saying, oh, it's it, this is part of uh, it's not classified, but it's part of an ongoing investigation. So it's redacted for whatever reasons. And he was feeling frustrated. being like, Well, what ongoing investigations are there then? If you've already made charges, I should be able to see the underlying evidence related to this. So I think you're going to start seeing a whole new approach to their fight between House Republicans and the DOJ in terms of how, what documents they can get on Hunter Biden, too. When do they bring in Hunter Biden? <sighs> That's a good question. I know that they want to. Um, I don't know when. When do they bring in Jim Biden? man, you're killing me with these questions. (laughs) Well, I mean, this is, to me, the obvious thing is Devin Archer, Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, and then you've got the investigation where you want it. That's, and and, um, who's the guy, Bobolaski? They got to bring him in. Has he already been in? Um, My understanding is not, but I I think that they're all sort of building up to that point. You build up the the evidence pool and... um, you know, Comer is still working to try to connect. He hasn't pr- publicly produced evidence to suggest that um, the president was involved in the bribery allegations that are out no, there. No, he hasn't. But, he hasn't. Yeah. Uh, I, I do know, I'm going to open up the phone. Nikki Haley's got laryngitis, so I was going to talk to Nikki Haley next hour. She can't talk. Yeah. So I'm going to open up the phones and ask the public what they think about this. What is the general reaction? We have a minute, Olivia. Just generally around the Politico newsroom to the Hunter Biden deal. I think that there's long been believed. If you looked at um, like the gun form with him checking the box that he he hadn't been charged with a federal crime, um, 
everyone could see that that one was coming from a long ways away. I think that there's long sort of been seen that um, the stuff that Hunter Biden was in is fishy. So I don't know that there was a ton of surprise that that resulted in, in a charge. But I think you're dealing, and I'll say it quickly, right now we're looking at the Donald Trump charges, we're looking at the Hunter Biden charges and questions about how the justice system works or doesn't work or if it's fair and how it's applied. And I think that that's sort of the broader debate that um, reporters are also interested in is what did Hunter Biden get off easy? Did Donald Trump, um, was he treated fairly? I'm interested in other defendants who face the same set of charges who went to prison. They're the people mm -hmm. I'm interested in. And I think we're going to hear from them in the days and weeks ahead. Olivia underscore Beavers. That's where you follow her on Twitter. You read her at Politico. It's always joy to see you in the morning, Olivia. Thank you for joining me as always.